progress is not enhancing what is, but rather advancing towards what will be. Khalil Gibran. A lot of us have so much motivation whenever we build a presentation, but then we lose that motivation. We lose that energy to get better with every presentation. So how do we bring that motivation back, that energy? And that's exactly what we're covering this week's episode of Master Talk. Hi everyone, Brendan from Master Talk here on your go-to channel to mastering your talk. And today, I'm going to walk you through three key strategies on how to get better with every single presentation you give. So let's keep improving. Number one, create one repeatable presentation and only practice that to perfection. If your goal is to be one of the best in the world at presentations, you need to realize that the best in the world usually only present one thing hundreds of times, even in a given year. Think about Tony Robbins. He's been delivering the same set of topics for the past 40 to 45 years. That's why he's so talented at it. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Brenda, I don't want to be Tony Robbins. You don't need to be Tony or anyone else at that level, but the lesson is still the same. What's one topic that I can repeat in my business, in my life, in my circumstances, so I can get the results that I'm looking for in life? And the reason repeatability is so key is simply like sports. Sure, in sports, you could play seven different sports, but if you're only focused on basketball and you're practicing shooting hoops and getting the ball in the net and you do that three hours a day for a month, you'll get really good at it. Same thing with learning a new instrument. Sure, you could practice a hundred different songs on the piano, but if you practice one song a hundred times, and you just play that at an event, people look at you and think you're a pianist. Yeah, I'm so amazing at piano. And then they'll ask you to play another song. You'll say, no, I'm done for today. And you'll walk away because you only know one song. But they'll leave impressed. They'll look at you and say, wow, that person is really good at music, even if you only know one song. The same analogy applies with professional speakers and with you. Pick one topic that you want to master and do that over and over again. And the question you need to ask yourself is what problem can I solve for somebody else? Here's one final trick I'll give you on this too. Make a list of a bunch of topics you're interested in. It right next to that topic, put a number down. And the number corresponds to the following question. On a scale of one to 10, how energetically excited would I be to present this topic a thousand times and whichever topic has the highest number is your winner. Number two, record your presentations to scale the feedback that you get. Even after years of doing this, presenting on video, giving online workshops, in-person workshops, my system for feedback is still rigorous. Meaning, that when I deliver something that really matters to me, I actually send it to my friends to have them review and approve it. And sometimes I'll send it to 15 to 20 different people, like I did a few years ago when I was participating in a speech competition. I would send out my five to 10 minute video to a bunch of my friends and they would send me back feedback. But the feedback, was always a points of improvement. It was never positive things. Saying, okay, this is wrong, I would fix this. The other piece to the feedback is that it was time stamped. Meaning, if John sends me feedback, it's go to two minutes and 41 seconds, Brendan. Why aren't you smiling here? You should, it's a positive moment. Then Isabella will look at my video and go, oh, go to five minutes, 26 seconds, Brendan. Why are you speaking so quickly here? I don't get it. I would use this instead and challenge my ideas in that way. So what happens is when 15 to 20 different people are sending you time-stamped feedback, you look at your presentation, you go, wow, I got a lot to work on, and you go through every single timestamp. So that version two of my video is is a hundred times better. That's how I get exponential results in my speaking. I don't wait for perfection, I make it perfect. I make it happen. So I encourage all of you to do that with your friends and family. And it doesn't need to be 15 people like me, it just needs to be one or two people. 
And that's how you get the results that you're looking for in your life and of course, your communication skills. And finally, number three, unless you're a world-class speaker already, I always recommend using slides for your keynotes or your presentations. Why? Because if you have a 30-minute talk to give, especially if it's the first time you're practicing it, your ideas generally go all over the place. You're not really sure what your key idea is. You're not really sure how to distribute your content, how to communicate it, how to deliver it in a way where people leave riveted by the way you speak. That's why I love slides, because it helps you structure your thinking. And you don't need to even have words on the slides if you don't want to. It could just be images to remind you what the next arc is, the next opportunity is, to make yourself successful in communication, in the way that you share ideas. And for me, what happens is when I start making slides and I'm presenting the same presentation 50 times, 75 times, my level of confidence confidence goes up dramatically. And the reason is because my slides keep improving. So I go, wow, these slides look so good. And then at some point I get to, well, I don't really need slides anymore. And now you can present with or without them. But I always like to start with slides because it helps gain momentum. And it's also really easy for you to measure progress. Because when you see your slides the first time you give a workshop and the 50th time you go, okay, the 50th time is clearly way better than the first time. I'm getting better at this. And that's what creates energy and momentum to keep getting better. So yes, I'm a big fan of slides and I highly encourage you to try them out too at the beginning. Remember, as Khalil Gibran says so well, progress is not just enhancing what is, but advancing what could be in our lives. So I encourage all of you to get better incrementally, one step at a time, with one presentation, one tweak, and watch your ideas evolve. Even when I started this YouTube channel, you can go back and watch the first video, because trust me, it's not good, it's a disaster, you see me progress on camera, as with any content creator. So the same analogy applies with you and your ideas. Start, and then from beginning, you'll progress. And it's so much harder to go from zero to one than to go from one to 100. So once you begin that first presentation, you'll feel a lot more confident to get better and to become better as well. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, I encourage you to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. And of course, you're always welcome to my free communication workshop that I do over Zoom. And if you want to jump in on that, link is in the description below. I can't wait to see you there. And of course, if you know one person who wants to get better at presenting, who wants to get better at sharing their ideas with the world, send them this video so that they'll be one step closer to mastering their talk. Thanks so much, everyone. See you next time. Mm -hmm.